Sir Elton John pulled out all the stops as he closed this year's Glastonbury Festival this evening. The legendary singer, 76, took to the Pyramid stage at around 9pm and brought out a number of famous guests, including the Killers frontman Brandon Flowers. After an incredible setlist, Elton introduced the Killers star Brandon onto the stage. The gigantic crowd sang along as the two performed the hit song. Introducing him, Elton said, my next guest. I first met in 2005 when I started playing in Las Vegas, and he came around to my hotel suite to play me his band's first album, which was called Hot Fuss. We've been friends ever since. He was the first person I thought of us to come and sing with me, even though Hess played Glastonbury six times with the Killers. So I'd like to introduce my dear friend, fantastic artist, Brandon Flowers. Sir Elton also brought on Steven Sanchez to perform his own song, Until I Found You. Other guests include Jacob Lusk from Gabriel's, who performed Are You Ready For Love? Pop star Rina Sawayama appeared on stage to perform Don't Go Breaking My Heart. Ahead of Elton's Glastonbury performance this evening, the music icon's husband David Furnish teased fans about the singer's plans to bring major stars on stage with him. Four collaborators of his choosing, David told Sky News journalist Beth Rigby. People, he just thought, I'd really like to do something with these artists at Glastonbury. And that's all I'm going to say. When pushed to reveal the names of the four collaborators, David added, Sorry. I am sworn to secrecy. Ahead of Elton's headline set, Glastonbury organizer Emily Evis spoke to the Glastonbury Free Press on-site paper about landing the epic star for his Sunday night performance. She told how hands-on he had been about his 9pm slot. Emily said, We have so many artists playing here and often we don't have much direct contact. But Elton has been very involved and we've worked really closely. He is so excited and engaged with what Glastonbury is. She said he has even been calling her out of the blue to discuss the finer points as the day got closer. It has been quite surreal. Standing there in the farmhouse chatting to Elton while trying to get the kids ready for school, or whatever. But he's been absolutely lovely, she said, he's been carving out a set that's going to be completely unique to Glastonbury. I love his love for doing that. I don't want to give anything away, but it's going to be amazing. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.